What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So yesterday we did our first initial hands-on with Android 14 Beta 3 and we finally had a little bit more time to play around with it and came away with a couple of new findings. So a lot of these are small tweaks just like we assumed and like we talked about in Beta 3 in our video yesterday, but some are pretty cool quality of life improvements and just neat little updates really. I mean there's no other way to put it. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it and first thing right when I pick up this device you're going to see a common theme here. The fluidness of the animations are iOS level, and that's always been something missing from Android. You can see just how nice that kind of goes in and out and blends seamlessly in the background for your always on display. That was never present in the past and definitely looks very nice and is definitely appealing now. While we're on the lock screen here, you can actually go ahead and long press on it and you get this new toggle that says customize lock screen. So it's basically a shortcut to allow you right in to customize. And here we go. If you missed our video yesterday, it is live on the channel, but you can actually easily now swap through all your customizable clocks, change the colorways. New feature also added here is this new reset button right up top. So if you're tweaking around with this and you mess around and say, oh, I don't like this monotone look or whatever it might be, or I want to reset it back, you now, after you kind of tweak it around and see how it looks, have that new reset button and we'll reset it right back to how it originally was. Pretty neat. Again, you can see home screen, lock screen. It is still separate. Unfortunately, too, you can't add those clocks on the home screen for whatever reason. Uh, Android's just not allowing that quite yet. Beyond that, we do have those new lock screen shortcuts that you can tweak. So if you go into settings, and then let's just go to lock screen. So obviously, now what you're going to have are those new shortcuts at the bottom for the left and right side, and you can see it live time. So instead of camera, if you want to have, say, do not disturb on the left shortcut, and let's go ahead and just do... QR reader on the right, you can see everything fades out and it does highlight what you're currently looking at. Nice little addition there. Um, so very cool. When we go ahead and set it, let's go ahead and actually use, we'll just leave them like this. So when you go ahead and lock your display, you can see those new toggles there. Again, there is a nice new smooth animation where if you just tap it, it vibrates subtly and shakes, letting you know that it wasn't accepted you actually need to long press it to get what you need done. So again, QR reader, long press, there you go. But touching back on everything we were saying earlier, it's the fluidity of the system and just how nice these animations are actually looking and how everything kind of just fades in the background uh, and works. One other new addition now, if you pull down the notification shade, whether you tap on it when it's tiny or if you do the double sli swipe down, and tap on the clock, it takes you directly to the clock app now. Pretty neat, again, nothing major, just a nice little quality of life improvement. Again, small, it works. Or if you wanna just tap it on the large icon, sure enough, it's gonna work either way. Definitely cool, I like it. So, as you can see, quite a few smaller tweaks here. Another smaller tweak is now when you actually go to plug in your device to charge, when you plug it in, there's a new animation up here where you get a little pill shape briefly around the battery and the percentage to let you know. So again, since it happened so fast, let's plug it back in and you can see it there. So pretty neat. Again, overall, just a ton of smaller tweaks. The pill, like I said, in the lock screen, in the network settings, there's a new like toggle in airplane mode if you go into settings. It's very consistent now. So like the pill shape here is a little different. It's just been very cleaned up and made a lot smoother than really any past Android version I've used. And that's very telling considering this is only a beta still. Definitely don't worry about it. If you put this on your primary device, we've had no real substantial issues. The only one we actually came across occasionally was the share sheet not working. So keep that in mind if you do a lot of sharing. But guys, Android 14 beta three, Thumbs up, massively good device, um, or I should say upgrade to the operating system for all the devices that are eligible for it. Let us know in the comments below. Are you excited? Are you downloading it? And if you have, how has your experience been so far?
Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.